I'm looking at it, Marjorie. Well, if you want to read something, you might take a look at Leroy's birthday list. Oh? <laughs> How many birthdays is that supposed to cover? Well, that's to give you a choice. The important things are at the top. One length of sewer pipe. That's important? It is to Leroy. Fifty pounds of gunpowder? Oh, that boy. That's to put in the sewer pipe. He's making a rocket. Oh. <laughs> you want something as ordinary as a bicycle? Well, that's to make a fast getaway after he's lit the gunpowder. Leroy! Don't point that thing this way! Leroy! Oh, now what's he up to? I don't know, but he better stop it. Leroy! Bertie, what happened? Excuse me, Mr. Gildersleeve, for dumping the groceries in the living room, but they've got the back door covered. They're not going to bounce any rockets off of Bertie. Who's they? Leroy and little Bruce Fuller. It's little Bruce's idea. Let's pretend Bertie's the full moon. Bertie's no moon. Well, why don't you send him home, Arthur? Well, that won't do any good. That stuffy father of his has just come over here and tried to pick a fight. Okay, but he said aim the rocket at Bertie. And Bertie's no moon. Oh, I'm sorry, Bertie. I'll go right out there. Those kids, they don't know how to play anymore. What are you doing to Bertie? Oh, hi, Uncle. Oh, hey, I see you got my birthday list. I wish we had the gunpowder now. This is no time to be talking about gunpowder. I'm not going to get it? You won't get anything if you and Bruce don't stop aiming rockets at Bertie. Oh, that was Bruce's idea. Squealer. Well, <laughs> anyway, you're only playing. Well, you watch it or you won't get anything for your birthday. Besides, not even a millionaire could afford all those things. Oh, gosh. Anyway, you boys are playing dangerously. Gunpowder. What are you up to now? Leroy's going to send me to the moon. Does your father know about this? Nah, he wouldn't let me go. We're only having fun. Fun? We fill the exhaust pipe with the rundium, pour some water down the top, and then... You boys are playing with fire. No, we're not. Now, see here. Let's terminate this rocket business. You're not atomic scientists yet. Oh, gosh. Yeah, gee whiz. Why can't you play some nice safe game? Like what that's any fun? Well, if you have to build something, instead of trying to be like Buck Rogers, why don't you build a nice safe raft or something? Like Tom Sawyer. Ah, uh, who's Tom Sawyer? <laughs> who's Tom Sawyer? <laughs> He and his pal Huckleberry Finn knew how to play, that's all. Like real American boys, instead of blowing up everything. A raft wouldn't be bad. Will you help us build it, Unc? Well, Tom and Huck did those things for themselves. That was the fun of it. You could build it right here. How'd we ever get it down to the river? The river? <laughs> Pretend the driveway's the river. Why not, Bruce? Yeah, I'll buy you the book. It'll show you how to have real American boy fun. No, I want to go up in the rockets. You'll have more fun building a rat. Leroy said I could go up in the rock. Oh, go home, you little crybaby. I'll get piggy. Yeah, I'll Leroy. I was going to go up in the rock until you came. I hate you. Oh! <laughs> Don't go kicking my uncle. I'm going to kill my father and both of you. Oh, go home, crybaby. Leroy? I hate you, you big water log by inscape. <laughs> go on home, crybaby. <laughs> Just whom are you calling crybaby? Oh, hello, Mr. Fuller. Gildersleeve, what's this all about? Bruce started the fight. He kicked Unc in the shins. He did? Let's see. Well, it... oh, never mind. And then he called Unc a big waterlogged Budinsky. Bruce did this? I must speak to you about this. It might be a good idea. If I've told him once, I've told him a thousand times never to repeat anything he's heard around the house. <laughs> now, why was Bruce crying? Well, I was trying to get them to play safe and sane games. Forget about bombs and rockets and get back to the good old days of Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. What an inspiration for a boy, eh? Yeah, I was just on my way down to buy them the book. Oh, that's great. Decent of you to take an interest in my son. Yeah, well, thank you. I guess I've misunderstood you all along, and I apologize. Oh, that's all right, Mr. From now on, I won't have to worry when Bruce is playing with Leroy and you... I'll keep an eye on the boys. You can depend on it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Bruce! This is a great book. You know, this is more exciting than building rockets. Well, then, if you think so much effort, why don't you give me a hand and get this thing down to the ground? Okay. You know, this thing isn't going to hold us up on the water. Well, gee, if we make it any heavier, we can't drag it down to the river. Hey, Bernie! Yes, Leroy? How about using one of your petticoats for a sail? <laughs> one of my petticoats would smother your raft. <laughs> <laughs> the wind was blowing. Oh, Bruce. Oh, gee, I was only trying to help. Well, think of a way to hold the raft up. Hello, Phoebe. Well, hello, Mr. Gilsey. What can I do for you? Yeah, I thought I'd have lunch with you, Phoebe. Oh? Well, are you just thinking about it, or do you really want the Hungarian goulash? Hungarian goulash? Good. Mm -hmm. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they call it Hungarian goulash. Oh? No? No, it's made out of Irish potatoes, Spanish onions, Virginia ham, and Mexican beans. <laughs> <laughs> Smell good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There yeah, you are. Ah, you know something, Mr. Gillespie? I believe I'll have lunch with you. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to try some of the goulash? No, I like Miss Peavy's food better. Phoebe, what if some customer comes in and sees you eating out of the lunchbox? Well, he wouldn't get any of it. Is it bad advertising for the fountain? Mm, Mr. Gildersleeve, I'm a pharmacist. Now, in order to meet competition, I have to serve food, but I don't have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> greetings, gentlemen, greetings. Well, hello, Judge Hooker. Yeah, hello, Judge. I'd uh, ask you what you want, but uh, I'm out to lunch. Uh, when you come back, make me a cherry phosphate. Yeah, very well. Uh, uh, Gildy, I just saw your friendly enemy, Mr. Fuller. Oh, I have news for you, Judge. Mr. Fuller thinks very highly of me now. Oh? You don't say. I thought the only time he ever spoke to you was when he asked you to move out of the neighborhood. <laughs> That's not true. He came by this morning and paid me a very fine compliment. He said he doesn't worry about his little boy when he's with Leroy and me. Well, why should he? Leroy's a very sensible boy. <laughs> they were building a rocket this morning. <laughs> but I talked him into playing like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> <laughs> that Tom Sawyer was quite a boy. Yeah, I'll never forget the time they were whitewashing the fence. Yeah, <laughs> a very amusing episode. <laughs> you bet. I even bought them the book. Yeah, it's a fine book. But I hope a boy with Leroy's imagination doesn't try to put any of those stunts into practice. What stunts? Well, I told them to build a raft like Tom and Huck. Let me see. What did they do with that raft? Why, they were pretending that they were pirates. Pirates? Of course. The Black Avenger, the Red Hander, the Terror of the Seas. They pushed right out in the Mississippi at midnight. Jeez. Right into the raging current, swept downstream for miles. <laughs> but they're only building a raft in the backyard. Well, I can't see boys having much fun with a raft in the backyard. You have a point there, Pete. As I recall, a storm came up and soaked the boys to the skin. wonder why they didn't get pneumonia. Pneumonia? <laughs> if they were gone for days, everybody thought they were dead. Judge, you tell a jolly story. Well, that's how it happened. Leave the book. Well, I doubt if Leroy and Bruce would be foolish enough to venture out on Black Falls River. Well, I should hope not. Black Falls is more dangerous than the Mississippi. Yeah, especially since they've had the storms upstate. Yeah, yes, indeed. The water level is rising. Uh, why, it's climbing up here right now. Excuse me. I better be getting home. Don't let us worry about Leroy. No, no, like I say, he's a very sensible boy. Oh, I'm not worried, but uh, <laughs> if it's going to rain... Uh, I'd better get home and see that the birdie has all the windows closed. Marjorie, where's Leroy? He's on the moon. This is no time to be facetious. He was building a raft. Then he's probably on the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, my goodness. I'd better check the backyard. <laughs> oh. Ah, man! I'm sorry, Bertie. Yes, sir. Is Leroy in the backyard? He was there an hour ago. He's finishing up his raft. Oh, we'd better hurry and get out there. Leroy! Mr. Gildersleeve, the raft was right here and they were working on it. They've gone to the river? Now, Uncle, how do you know? Uh-oh, look! He wrote it in the back of his little birthday list. What does it say? We have gone to the river. I knew it. <laughs> By the time you read this, there's no telling where we'll be. That poor...
poor little boy. Leroy, the terror of Big Falls. Bruce, the mean Avenger. <laughs> yes. Signed in blood. <laughs> I've got to get down to the river. Can I help? You stay by the phone. Signed in blood. <laughs> Bruce. Sure. Gosh, we should have built a raft down at the river. Then we wouldn't have to haul it through the swamp. No. I think we should have gone down to the movie. It's a swell deep sea picture. Hey, do you think these jugs will hold us up underwater? No, oh, sure. You couldn't want better floats. What if one hits a rock and breaks? Well, we still got three left. What if the other three hit a rock and break? Look, are you going to be a pirate or a worry ward? Which way should we go? I think we better go back. Okay. Hey, I think it's shorter the other way. Make up your mind, Avenger. I'm not the Avenger. I'm the terror of Big Falls. I'm the terror. You are not. I am too. You'll probably be afraid to go out on the river anyway. I'll show you. Leroy! and came to a movie. Yeah, octopus point is real scary. You were afraid to go on the raft anyway. That's why you pushed it out in the river. I had to see if it would float. Thank you, Chief. I don't want to be an alarmist, but all I could find was a pirate flag and little Leroy's jacket. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, well, goodbye, Chief. By George, I'll find those boys if I have to call out everybody in town. When are you going to tell Mr. Fuller, Unky? He'll be wondering about Bruce. Well, Mr. Fuller's quite an excitable man, and we're doing all that can be done. Where is that Charlie Anderson? He knows the river like a book. I wouldn't worry too much about Leroy, Unky. He's always home in time for dinner. Uh, Here's your hip boots, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yo, thank you, Bertie. These will come in handy. Yes, sir. It's too bad somebody talked those boys into building a raft. No, Bertie. Yeah, they were building a harmless little rocket, but somebody talked them into building a raft. Yeah, I know, Bertie. They were aiming the rocket at you, remember? I'd rather them aim the rocket at me than aim the raft at the river, but somebody talked them into building a raft. I'll get it. Have you phoned Judge Hooker and Mr. Peavy? Well, I told Peavy, but I haven't been able to get in touch with the judge yet. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Oh, hello, Bertie. <sighs> I'll go get the food ready for the party. All right, Bertie. I'll help. Hello, Commissioner. Charlie, where have you been? I got here as soon as I could leave the pump house. I got a water department to run for you, remember? Oh. What's that? I brought my bloodhound. He's waiting in the car. Oh, good idea. I brought my gun, too. May get the sight between me and a duck. Charlie, this is no duck hunt. Two little boys are lost, remember? Oh, don't worry. That hound will find him. He's got a good nose. Every year when my mother-in-law comes to visit, he starts whining a week before she gets here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Bertie, the food! We're leaving! It's coming! I'll get Bertie, you get the food. Yes. That may be Bruce and little Leroy. 
offer is just you two. Who do you expect, Gildy? Well, I thought it might be Leroy. Well, he's on the river, Peavy told me. Oh, he may not be yet. Any news at all, Mr. Gildersleeve? Nothing. Well, no news is good news. How are you, men? Hi, Charlie. Good afternoon, Charlie. Bertie, we're leaving! When we were talking in the drugstore, I had no idea this would come to pass. I know. I brought my first aid kit. Of course, we won't have any need for it. In the early part of World War II, I took a course in artificial respiration. Air raid one. Bertie! Hey, let's go or my bloodhound will lose interest and go home. Aren't we waiting for Mr. Fuller? Well... Well, surely you've given him the bad news. I want to give him the good news after we found the boys. You and him never have hit it off, have you, Commissioner? Oh, we've been getting along fine. Until this happened, of course. There's the boat. No. Good luck. Thank you, Bertie. Come on, men. Let's go. No, oh, not in the house. That's bad luck. <laughs> Mr. Ford. Hello, Gildersleeve. I was about to not. Well, what's going on? Does your roof leak? <laughs> no, we were just about to go outside. Oh, well, I just came by for Bruce. Bruce? My son. Thank you for taking care of him. Well, you see, Mr. Fuller. Where is he? Well, we don't exactly know. You don't know? <laughs> Has something happened to Bruce? We gotta go get it. Okay. Gosh. And besides, if we aren't home before dark, somebody might get worried. Why did I ever trust my son with you? Well, I tried to stop them, but I was just a little late. If I had no idea they'd take off for the river. Where else would they float a raft? I suggested in the driveway. <laughs> I can see the river from here. A raging torrent. Well, they could be quite safe, you know. Yeah, I've got the police on the job. <coughs> yeah, and the bloodhound. I feel they'll be found any minute. There's a raft on the river. You see? Yeah, I told you. It's caught on some brush. Good. The boys aren't on it. Not on it? Must have rained while we were in the show. Hey! My jacket's gone! Yeah, some bum must have come along and took it. Now, well, how will I explain this to Arm? <coughs> What's that? Somebody must be hunting. Yeah, rabbits, maybe. Hey, we'd better get home. Yeah. Ah, oh, clumsy. Hey! That's just what I want for my birthday. Good. What is it? Sewer pipe, stupid. It's what I need to build another rocket. You do, and your uncle won't give you any more birthday presents. I probably won't get much anyway. Grab a hold. What's that noise? What noise? Uh, uh probably some cows coming down to the river. for us. That's gone. Shh. Then we'd really catch heck. I was hoping they'd be at the farmhouse. You are huddled under the bridge. I think I'll take a look off down this other way. Now we'd better wait for the others. Oh. Well, maybe I'd better go find Peavy and the judge. Well, you might miss them. We all said we'd meet here. Oh. Besides, you've worn yourself out. Mr. Fuller, you've been awfully decent about this, not knowing where little Bruce is or what may have happened. I'm in a call. This is no time to call him. We'd better wait for a chance to sneak home. If this turns out to be their idea of a prank, we should teach them a lesson they'll remember. 
see? Keep quiet. Yeah, I intend to give Leroy a talking to. If I find him. Oh, they'll show up. Perhaps. Don't worry. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They'll show up. You really think so? Oh, sure they will. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not worried. Just don't you worry. Oh, no, I'm not. Why, George, Mr. Fuller, you're all right. I've always liked you. You're not a bad sort yourself, Gildersleeve. Regular guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get them. Yeah, they're so cold and wet, they're delirious. This has been a hard day for both of us. Why don't you come over for dinner tonight? Well, why don't you come over to my house? No, 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 you come over to my house. Bertie will have a big roast and everything. Plenty to eat for everybody. See? What's the matter? I couldn't eat a bite. Not unless little Leroy is there. No, brother. Why don't they go home so we can go home? Yeah, I'm getting cold. Let's surrender. No. It's getting dark. It's getting chilly, too. Leroy will need his jacket. Where's Mr. Peavy and the judge? I can't understand why Leroy would do a thing like this. He wasn't a bad boy. Best hearted boy in the world. Bruce never went looking for trouble. Sweetest little fella you ever saw. Leroy was sweet. <laughs> Me? <laughs> What's that? Leroy's last note. Written on the back of his birthday list. Looks like a sad birthday. I had such great plans for his birthday, too. I was going down to Hogan Brothers tomorrow and buy him a new bicycle. A motorbike. A motorbike? And I thought I wasn't getting much. Come on, Leroy. Shut up. They're talking about my birthday. <laughs> Birthdays were always happy days around our house. I'd planned to get Bruce a Shetland pony. Oh, I was definitely going to get Leroy a Shetland pony. Oh, boy, a pony! How about that? I thought maybe Bruce would have been old enough for a power saw this year. I was going to get Leroy a saw. And one of those new atomic chemistry sets. An atomic chemistry set? And then we can really go to the moon. <laughs> what a birthday this would be. If only he were here to enjoy it. Hey, Unc! There I am! Leroy! Daddy! Brucey! Little Leroy! You're safe! Safe! Gosh, Unc, don't squeak me so hard! No, I'm just glad to see you, my boy. Sounds like I'm gonna have a pretty big birthday, huh? It Leroy, how much did you hear? Well, a motorbike, a Shetland pony, a saw, and a chemistry set. <laughs> Do you hear him? No, and I can't understand why Leroy hasn't come down yet. Oh, he's probably pretty tired from all that trekking in the woods. I know, but on his birthday, you'd think he'd want to come down and see his presents. We'll hear those footsteps pounding down the stairs any minute now.
Well, he said he had to go downtown on some very important business. Oh. He'll be back later. I'm glad I didn't forget my birthday. You know, I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> 